Welcome back, today is Thursday and that means acting analysis for animators and today I'm going to take a look at the TV show Bodyguard. Alright, so as I was naming my files, it was Silent Head Move, Arrogant Head, Head Entrance, and Goodbye Head. So apparently the theme is head, accents, and twists, and what you can do just to kind of portray a certain emotion and attitude. So I guess that is the theme. So let's go straight to the first clip. So in this one, you have this main character with the other main character, a bit of a tense back and forth and he's not a massive fan of hers and she says i believe in this moment she says you don't have to vote for me she's a politician but you just have to protect me because he is her bodyguard as the title says so you got this back and forth it's a bit tense you got those long looks and that's what she says here you just have to protect me and that's you know he in his fashion goes yeah i'll do exactly that mom rest assured and as i always say i love silences in audio clips it's awesome how she has that little reaction just that little look over a little dart there it's like, all right i guess that's how it is with that little look and he just goes mom <laughs> and walks away so the reason why i'm showing you this is besides the the uh silent part here where, where you as an anime can do acting wise whatever you want you can take control of your shot but i love this here so he is done and technically as i always say the lip sync would be done but you could continue and you can add something to it and i love her little whoop look up there just that move it's an interesting move it's an interesting upper arc in terms of animation parlance but it's cool there's something you can do where she could have just the more of a flippant you know drop of that folder or she takes a sip or just puts it down and maybe slowly pushes it away or just i don't know whatever it is but just that just gives us a specific move maybe she is slightly, slightly embarrassed slightly frustrated or ah, i don't care but there's something to it where you can add just that one more thing to your character that's as i always say is your creation it's your moment where you can put your stamp on the shot. Now, the second thing, again, is something head related. And again, it's a very tense discussion. Let's go straight to that scene. So you have this meeting and they all have their disagreements. And it's mostly about this character who really, really wants his way. And he kind of gets it where she loses kind of the argument. And you can see it in this scene here or in the shot. He goes like, all right, well, I had enough. Let's go it this way. And she tries to argue. He goes, no, 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 that's it for now. Boom. He realizes, wait, wait, something, you know, this is going to explode. And this is the moment where he realizes, all right, well, this time I won. Now, I want you to look at his head. Kind of starts to look at her. So watch this. Boom, already there, I'm ready. He wants to look at her. He wants to give her that face of, see, I told you so. I'm the winner. And he looks and she does, she knows it, but she looks over. She doesn't want to give him the satisfaction, but he keeps on looking. He looks, he wants to grab this, but goes back and he wants to look at her. And she finally kind of resigns and then tells him in certain profane words that, you know, like, don't get used to this or, you know, kind of F off in a way. And then he goes away and she has, again, also that long stare of you can confront me but i'm going to stand on my own here and i'm going to challenge you but it's just something awesome where it's purely in the angles of their heads the long looks do they blink or not the confrontation but look at that long stare it's just this face off between the two so cool and again it's something subtle like who knows who would catch that in animation you know it's less is more you want to keep it clear to the audience and you know, the simpler, the better. Not that it has to be overly complicated just for complication's sake, but it's just a cool moment. And maybe if you have a character that is confronting someone, maybe think about, well, as the character gets to grab their prop and then potentially gets out of their chair, don't just do maybe go from this pose down to this pose and then get up. What could you do during that moment to give it attitude? And maybe in this case, well, the attitude is, I want to stare because I want to tell her, I told you so, you're the loser here. And then maybe through that, maybe there's no lip sync, but you can still have then her look at him. And now you just added one more challenge between the two, some confrontation, a silent confrontation between the two. And that's potentially how you could end the shot. And it doesn't mean that you have to have these characters here. That starts to be too much to animate. But again, something to think about. Now, the third shot, the third sequence, is happening right after this. So the one in the middle with the glasses who kind of realized, hmm, something's going between the two. I got to kind of talk to her and see what's going on. He has that entrance of everything okay. And it's an interesting entrance. And it's a cool way of introducing a character. So again, let's take a look at it. So she goes into her office. He follows her. 
and look at how he enters. Oh, he already has that that puppy tilt. Just that look of that inquisitive look of hmm, everything okay here? And then she you know she says her thing, and he says her thing, and he comes by and you know does a little contrasty thing of from one to the next angle. And it's cool. I like it. It's also a cool, interesting shot. If you had this, if you had a multiple character shot, first character here out of focus, so you concentrate technically on one character's entrance. And again, he could come in smiling, he could come in frowning, unhappy, come in like this, he could come in with the head straight. I mean, all those poses would tell us something differently, something else about the character. And that's just, to me, an interesting entrance there. <laughs> and I like how he stops, got the eyebrows there. All right, it's almost like a little anticipation to the whole thing. Whoop, it's subtle, but it's there, it's great. And then technically, you can continue the shot where you have a cool body mechanics acting open where it's a walk. You can show attitude through a walk, and then it changes, and then the focus changes, well, not in this shot, but imagine then suddenly he is blurry, and so the depth of field changes and the focus changes onto her, and then you could have an interesting, cool profile shot of the actor reacting and then, you know, in engaging with this character. So anyway, it could be a cool setup for a two-character shot, but mainly I'm focusing here on the entrance, and if you have a character, you know, with a lip sync piece, maybe the characters don't have to be in the room already when the shot starts. What if the room is empty? Or in this case, one character is in there and the person that actually does the talking enters the room. And it doesn't have to be something where the entering of the room is something that, that's in the audio in terms of not the sound effect, but something that the person says, hi, I'm entering your room here and I want to talk to you. Maybe it's just something, it's a casual conversation, but instead of maybe the source is them sitting, like the original movie has them sitting, but maybe you take this and you have them, again, here one standing, the other character entering, and then that entrance could be interesting, like a Kramer style entrance of maybe a slide in, or again, kind of coming in, maybe they're, you know, maybe they're concerned and it comes in like this, or she, and it would be like, so what do you think? And then the second character goes, no, I'm okay. And that relaxes the first character. So you can go from this kind of hunched over uh, pose to, Oh, okay, and then you straighten. That will give you a pose contrast, and so on and so on. I think it's just, in general, interesting to potentially tweak your entrance uh, at the beginning of the shot to establish a character and then potentially a changing character. Now, the last one is, again, head-related, since this is the theme, and the chair is breaking. One day, I'm gonna make a clip about me buying a new chair, and it'll just be all about the chair. I'll do a chair review, how about that? <clears throat> but anyway. So in this case, the boss of the main character, I think it's Richard Madden, I think is his name. Uh, she has a bit of a friendly disagreement with him. She's kind of stern, but she's still supportive. And I like the way she dismisses him where the conversation is done. She tells him to, in this case, it's the uh, kind of F off, but in the, the P word. Uh, so get out of here. And she does look at him, but it made me think of what if you have a discussion that ends and you end eye contact. So I will be talking to you, that would be the character in the scene. And instead of saying, all right, well, you know, get out of here, something would just be, get out of here. And it would just add that extra dismissive thing of, I'm not gonna even look at you while I'm saying this. It's not as disrespectful or as strong in this scene. But anyway, instead of talking, let me show you. So they have their discussion, you know, and he has a little reaction and they go, all right, all right, and so on and so on. And then you can see as she's done, like he waits, he waits for something else. It's also a cool thought process moment there. You can see his face, follows her, mm -hmm. and what else? And then she waits, realizes, no. And then she says the P-I-S-S -S off a moment here. And he goes, all right, okay, mom. <laughs> and he exits. But imagine she does this and doesn't look up, right? So when you have this, and she does have eye contact, she does acknowledge him, but imagine she doesn't do this. So she stays in this pose, says this, all the while she is in this pose, right? So that could be an extra layer of, I don't care about you, I'm done, maybe I'm mad at you, whatever it is. So just in general, as I always say, think about, is your character looking at your other character when they talk? Is there eye contact? If so, for how long? Um, maybe it's good to break eye contact. Maybe at the very end they come back because maybe they're just insecure, unsure, or is the very confident look away and like get out of here and so on. So think about those moments where it's not just I'm doing the lip sync, I'm doing something where I need to match my lips to the audio, 
but still think about the attitudes, why are they saying this, and maybe potentially, can you change the attitude? So if the audio is somewhat neutral in its delivery, you can add, you know, I would say maybe you can add a smile to the delivery. If you if you talk and smile, it does sound differently, but maybe it's just neutral enough, maybe your smile is small enough that it won't sound, it won't look weird, not sound weird, but it might add an extra layer. So, you know, depending on what the delivery is on the audio, again, you can add a smile, you can add a certain frown, you can have, you know, look away. So whatever you can do to tweak the delivery and make it more original and make it your own, I think the better. And as I always say, it's, it's your extra stamp on your performance and it will show that you can bring something new to the table, which hopefully is valuable to a company that you're applying for, if that's your goal, obviously. You know, maybe you do something on your own and your own company is totally different, but this is just me always kind of thinking shot-wise, what would you do for a shot to make it interesting, to put on a reel, to convince someone to hire you. That's kind of my, my lens and my focus most of the times uh, when I talk about this. And there we go, that's it for Bodyguard. I actually generally really liked the show, it was very interesting. I'm a big fan of British cop shows in general. There's always a slight tweak to things and it's a bit different than American shows. Um, so if you've seen this, uh, I don't know, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is on Netflix, so maybe if you have Netflix and you haven't seen it and you are into things, um, they're kind of like Luther, a big fan of Luther as well. So yeah, I don't know, let me know if you like this or not. And as always, if you watch this whole thing till the very end, thank you so much. I would love the vanity metrics of a like and subscribe. But actually, if you do subscribe and hit the bell button, it's good for you. You will get notified of all my uploads and updates. And that's kind of it. I will see you in my next clip. Thank you.